Yeah, today I had uh, to give a talk on a subject known as obstructive sleep apnea and its link with diabetes. Obstructive sleep apnea, let me explain to you what it is. It is the obstruction of the respiratory passage when a person goes to sleep or we call it sleep apnea. And due to the collapse of the respiratory tract, there is an obstruction to the flow of air going inside the lung and the oxygen starts dropping down. We call it desaturation. That can lead to many complications related to heart, blood pressure, brain, and most important, it can worsen the diabetes control or it can actually lead to diabetes or even central obesity. There are many predisposing factors to obstructive sleep apnea. One of them is obesity. Second one is alcohol, sedatives, and lack of exercise, which results into this problem. It's a lot more common to have obstructive sleep apnea than what we think. We only think that the people who snore loudly may have obstruction to the respiratory passage. It's not really true. Not all obstructive sleep apnea patients have loud snoring or all loud snorers need not have obstructive sleep apnea. But snoring is one of the major symptoms of sleep apnea. Other causes that the person says that I never feel fresh when I wake up. Second thing they say that I get early morning headache. The blood pressure remains uncontrolled in spite of multiple drugs or they can have a lot of sleep related problems. In fact, obstructive sleep apnea is one of the commonest causes of vehicular accidents in the United States of America. So this is a serious condition and it can be easily diagnosed by a small sleep study done at home, which tells you what is known as hypoxia, hyper, uh, hypopnea, apnea index or HAI. If it is more than 30, it is a significant obstructive sleep apnea and one needs a machine to throw a powerful air current known as CPAP machine. And that opens the passage throughout the night when you are sleeping and one can breathe easily and his oxygen saturation comes under control and he feels better next day. There are many metabolic abnormalities are corrected if you use this machine. But of course, to use this machine, you have to take a help of your pulmonologist and find out which machine will help you. But most important, keep a high index of suspicion on all those people who have these symptoms. Thank you very much.